Hello, this is Pac-Man Championship Edition on PS3. This is the minis version. Uh, this version came out before the version in Pac-Man Museum on PS3. And uh, came out in on February 1st, 2011, according to what I just found on the internet. I bought it then or soon thereafter. Um, I think it was like five bucks. I don't remember now. You can find that info on the internet. Uh, it got delisted in, well, delisted games is the best they can narrow it down based on a user's report was somewhere between 2019 and 2020. Uh, that seems like an odd time to go about delisting it. But anyway, that's what happens. So it's nowhere, it's no longer available to buy on the PlayStation store for PS3. Um, which is sort of sad. If you really want Championship Edition on the PS3, of course you can, I think, still get the Pac-Man Museum on PS3. I, I didn't check to see if that's still available. Uh, and of course you can now get it on PS4 in Pac-Man Museum Plus if you want to, uh, and other places, other collections. Uh, but this was the only standalone version of Pac-Man Championship Edition on a PlayStation console. Uh, in fact, it's actually called the the actual icon on the the desktop, uh, whatever it's called on the XMB for the PS3. It's not called. It's not labeled as Championship Edition. Maybe that was too long a title. It's labeled Pac-Man CE. Just sort of a convenient thing to call it if we just want to refer to the minis version, I suppose, although nobody would really know that's what you meant, because uh, that's what everybody abbreviates it as anyway, I imagine. Um, so this version, you notice how these, these menus look a little low resolution. This version looks like it's more like 480p upscaled or something. I don't know what resolution minis actually ran in. I mean, I suppose maybe they're running at the PSP resolution, because they were made to run on both PSP and PS3. What the heck is a PSP's resolution, anyway? I can't remember if I played this version on my PSP. Oh, PSP is... Oh, PSP's 272... It's 480 by 272 pixels. So this might be 272p, I suppose. I didn't realize. I mean, they looked pretty good for 272p. Heck. Now, a Vita screen was 960 by 544, and I got a little confused because I think they show a Vita in this menu. Uh, there, was there some later revision of the? Uh, anyway, you you can tell me in the comments. I don't I don't know. I had I had I had the original PSP, and then I had the slightly more compact version, but it was basically the same same style. Um, you'll notice one thing aside from the lower apparent resolution is it is running in a 1080p screen on PSP though this this I checked my output and it's still 1080p it's just uh you know it looks low res um the other thing is that there's a a black border around the edges of the screen which is not present as far as i recall in the PS3 version the PS3 version or the the Pac-Man Museum for PS3 version. Pac-Man Museum, though, on PS3, only runs at 720p, whereas this is sort of, it's at least upscaling something, maybe maybe 282p or whatever the heck that PSP resolution was, to uh, to 1080p. So it's a, it's a confusing mishmash of comparisons going on here. Let's look at something actually in the game. I guess these are awards you can get for doing certain things. It's not like trophies, I I don't think. I think they must just be local. I mean, I did have this back in the day, and it doesn't seem to have saved any, retained any of my stuff. This is a different PS3 than I had back in the day. Um, you've got what, again, looks like local high scores. Doesn't look like we've got leaderboard access to anything. 
helping controls how to play actually has these kind of cute little pixel art uh, screens. I guess you can imagine reading these on the PSP. They do look like that. What the heck was it? 282p? Why, why can't I remember numbers? Uh, why, why can't I get back to it? Okay, yeah. No, 272p. It looks like it might be what that is. Um, pretty, pretty legible, even though it's chunky and blurry at the same time. He's telling us how Pinky behaves. Don't get trapped. Controls, I mean that, that's like a Vita or something, right? I don't know. Control Pac-Man. So there's no options. Um, I already looked at that, so that's it, so. Play, you got the same modes that you get in the Pac-Man Museum versions. So, uh, might as well actually run it. Uh, another visual difference that's apparent here is that there's a black line down the center of the screen. I don't think I noticed that in the PS3 Pac-Man Museum version. Just a black line. It looks like they've sort of divided the sides of the screen up because you know when you when you when you get the fruit or whatever it sort of flips the colors on one side of the screen like here see maybe they somehow divide well maybe they just divided up the the bitmaps or something that make up the backgrounds between the two sides and it's like they couldn't quite get them to stick together seamlessly or something like there's a little pixel wide gap between them which seems odd it's not you know not horribly distracting or anything it's just a little curious thing that I wonder why I had to get left there and actually maybe it's two pixels wide because if it's a 480 pixel wide s display then you wouldn't have a line of pixels in the precise center of the screen. You would have two lines of pixels because it's an even number, right? Is that how numbers work? I don't know. And it all looks a little blurry in this whatever we're upscaling here. I don't know. Of course, I just got the... Uh, I thought, well, the Pac-Man Museum for PS3 version 720p, but this it's also in Pac-Man Museum Plus on PS4 now. I could get that version, and that'll run in 1080p, right? So it'll be sharper. Well, I guess it's not too surprising. That version is not really sharper. It does run in 1080p, but it definitely looks like it's just the 720p version, the old version upscaled, not actually like remastered assets in 1080p or anything. Which is a, you know, it's a little disappointing, but again, I shouldn't be surprised by that, I suppose. But I think we should demand that kind of basic remastery to, to happen when you get a new console and a new update on your new console with more capability, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it have been remastered to 1080? Of course, then you could say, well, it should have got remastered to 4K, man. What are, you're living in the past anyway. That's true. I don't have a 4K display. Not liking the look of this. I mean, I thought that maze was shaping up poorly for me. Ah, oh, God, come on. Ugh. So I'm playing this on, you know, PS3. I'm using a PS4 slash PS3 Hori Real Arcade Pro arcade stick to play it. Um, seems just fine. Minis, you know, they always sort of looked a little low res and blurry at the same time on PS3. But I did... I'm totally losing my train of 
train of paying attention now. But I did buy a, a good chunk of them on PS3. This one was actually one of the earliest purchases I had on PS3. As I said, it came out February 1st, 2011, and I bought it somewhere around that date. Um, so it's pretty far back there in my downloads list. Even though my downloads list has a rather disgusting 1,000 plus items in it. I was just buying everything back then. I had a, I worked for the man. I didn't I had all this disposable income in no time, so I just apparently just bought all kinds of stuff. It's like just about half of that is DOA costumes. Well, those were silly days. Whoa, whoa. And only one of them was, well, I, I guess technically two of them were Pac-Man Championship Edition, because one was this and one was Pac-Man Museum. And which ones are getting played now? It's not the 400 DOAs. Oh, heck, I screwed that up. Way to waste your last seconds. So anyway, that's uh, that's how the minis version plays. It's a 22 megabyte download. Just 22 megabytes for all this fun. I mean, you can see that these, you know, these background bitmaps or whatever are pretty, pretty chunky. This graph is sort of sharp. Got some line resizing stuff going on. Look, well, you know. So that's that. Does it, uh, so I complete championship mode. So in theory, now under high scores. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's just, uh, just your local high score. And that's it. I mean, I could play another mode. I'm, I don't really want to, like, in the uh, PS3 Pac-Man VC version, I was just playing, this is the, isn't this the, yeah, this is the one that with the lots of long horizontal tunnels. You start off real fast. I think this was my favorite mode back in the day. I seem to remember cruising around in this a lot. Ooh. Oh no, I missed my turn. stereo switch when you go through the tunnel. It's pretty good. Guess what, you guys? You just got eaten. Uh-oh. Shoot. Shoot. No, I could have turned there and I failed to do so. It's pretty embarrassing. rolling in here, guys. Ah. Well, I, uh, I don't know how to do this. I, I don't. Uh, what? I can't. Uh, I'm going to blame this. Uh, it, it's, it's input lag. Yeah, that's it. There's, uh, there's lots of input lag in this meeting. No, I don't think that's true. I think I'm just terrible at Championship Edition. That stereo switch is pretty great. I missed another turn. Heck. Ooh. Okay, you want it? You want it? That was a waste of a power pellet, I suppose. Man, we got 
ghosts going through the tunnels and everything. I get distracted by the pretty things. Can I die? Yeah, four ghosts. time is running out so I should not waste it dying and I just did in fact if I'm not careful I'm not gonna even finish the time limit oh I almost didn't finish I guess I might have had a... If you have a pack left sign down at the bottom, does that mean you can die and still have one, maybe? I, I got an award. I got a major award. It's whatever the blue ghost name is. My scoring yet again trailed off right at the end. That's too bad. So that was the extra mode one, five minutes. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. So I got the championship mode award. I got the extra mode one award. That's what the blue ghost was. You get one for 400,000 points. You get a one for eating a crown. I wonder when that shows up. 200,000 points. Key, eight ghosts. Eight ghosts in succession. Emit sparks for one second? Is that just constant cornering? Our little pseudo trophies here, our, lo our local only trophies. So, uh, that's about all I can think of to. I mean, I could play all the modes, but let's not get carried away. That's Pac Man Championship Edition, or Pac Man CE, as it is spelled on the icon on the PS3 XMB for the minis version of Pac Man Champion Edition played here on the PS3. I think you could play these on PSPs. Could you play minis on Vitas too? I have no idea. I never had a Vita. Uh, as I said, I did just buy the uh, the PS, the, the Pac-Man Museum version on PS4 because I thought that's how I would get a 1080p version of Pac-Man Champion Edition, which I sort of did. Runs in 1080p, and so does this one. Uh, I, I think I'll be playing the PS4 version, but this version is kind of cute, you know? Low-res looking, chunky, uh, 22 megabytes. Could, in theory, play it on your PSP if you still had one. I had two PS... Well, yeah, because I had the original PSP, and then I had... Because then the... I think I just got the the slimmer one i like got a japanese import 
one back then when those came out because I thought that was cool. So then I had the two, and then the like the the oh, what did you call them? You can't call them cartridges. The little mini disc door thing on the back of one of them started like wouldn't stay shut or something crummy. Even though I didn't really use them that much, I I really didn't. And uh, but it's yeah, yeah so I, but you kind of get it to keep loading from discs if you like held the door shut or a little pressure to it, uh, it was messed up. So I, I sort of had two PSPs uh, at the same time. Isn't that fun? Um, but I don't remember if I ever played this. Yeah, I don't think I did. I didn't download a whole bunch of games on my PSP. I just didn't really care enough about it to do that by that time. By the time they were really coming out with all the minis and stuff, I guess. I had a stack of, uh, you know, mini disc games or whatever they were that I never really played enough anyway. Okay, well, that's enough rambling about what I can't remember about PSP. Uh, probably never played this on PSP. I did play it a bit on PS3. And then, so when, so this came out February 1st, 2013. Pac-Man Museum for PS3 came out uh, according to Wikipedia or Google summary came out well that's the Japanese launch date give me an English launch date February 25th 2014 so that's just over three years later so I waited three years. I wasn't really waiting, but three years later, the uh, Pac-Man Museum for PS3 came out. I bought that, and that had the 720p version of Pac-Man Championship Edition, which probably, st I mean, it ran a 720p, but it was probably higher res assets, probably using the original, um, what was the first one on? Well, it was on Xbox, wasn't it? Regular Xbox? No, was it 360? Now, hold on, I, I could swear that um, Championship Edition came out, like, way before PS3 on Xbox, and I was jealous, because I didn't have an Xbox, my friends had Xboxes, but Wikipedia is saying... It actually came out the day after. Well, that's that's a worldwide release. It came out. Wikipedia says Xbox Live Arcade worldwide February twenty six, twenty fourteen. Whereas it says PlayStation Network North America February twenty fifth, twenty fourteen. Pac Man Museum. Oh, well, that's Pac Man Museum. I, okay, duh. Um. Pac-Man Championship Edition alone. Gosh, I'm slow, really slow. That came out way back in 2007. Xbox Live Arcade, June 6, 2007. So I was jealous of my friends for having Championship Edition all that time. Uh, then the mini version came out in 2011, but I, I didn't get too excited about this minis version. Um, because, you know, I knew the minis were kind of low res and uh, I figured it was probably a little cut down or underpowered or something. And so I didn't, I didn't really c count it as like a full release of championship edition, I guess. So that was, I mean, that was, so wait, Xbox Live Arcade, June 6, 20, 20, 2007. And then the minis version came out. February 1st, 2011. So that's, uh, I can't do math. That's, uh, three and a half years later. And then the, the, uh, what's the collection of Pac-Man Museum version came out on both PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, 
I just went the wrong way. That's very good. Um, so 2007, 2011, uh, came out three years later after it gets three years after the minis version. So in all, I had waited, uh, three and a half, six and a half years to get a, a release comparable to the original Xbox PlayStation or the original Xbox live arcade release of this game. And I didn't really play it enough. There was, I, there was too much, too much other stuff by that time. I guess that's my excuse. And then I ignored it obviously until, until now, even though it, uh, I mean, Pac-Man Museum Plus only just came out quite recently, right? For PS4. It felt like it was. Am I wrong? Am I am I wrong? That came out in May, May of this year. So yeah, it's only uh, only September. Uh well, I'm I'm sort of caught up now. Uh, so that's that's the championship edition history and the sad history of me not having it for a long time because I, I guess I didn't I was biased against Microsoft basically and then when I did get this minis version I didn't really play it and I looked down upon it in a way I didn't even play it enough to look down upon it I just sort of just just figured it wasn't the real deal but it seems to play fine it's got that little line down the middle in the background, I guess, but that doesn't stop you from doing anything. It's got a little border around the outside. That, that's okay. It's, you know, running in its uh, PSP resolution of 480 by 272 upscaled to 1080p, I guess, but, you know, it's still fully playable. Sounds okay, I think. 22 megabytes. Remarkable. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh... Next time I play this game will probably be the PS4 version. Uh, and that's it for now. Thanks uh, for watching. And wave goodbye to the to the Pac-Man CE Mini. Because I'll probably delete it. But it's easy to download. Uh, that's it for, for my download list. Again, delisted from the PlayStation Store. Apparently somewhere between 2019 and 2020. According to delistedgames.com, let me be specific, they say, uh, delisting January, January 2019, that's the earliest date they think it may have been delisted to May 2002, or 2020, January 2019 to May 2020, somewhere in there, the U.S. version was delisted, uh, they say, said, a reader pointed out that they were able to purchase the game in January of 2019, but that it had since been removed from the store. The game has also been removed, removed in Europe on PlayStation platforms, so maybe it's still available in Japan on the Japanese store. Maybe if you made a, a Japanese account, you could... You know, when you got like a gift card or whatever online for the Japan store, you could uh, you could get it. Maybe delisted games doesn't say. Maybe they just don't know. Anywho, uh, why would you get this version? I don't know. Well, actually, where is that article? I there's a there's a PlayStation blog article that Google pulled right up for me when I was when I just Googled uh, Pac-Man Minis Championship Edition, uh, which I will now have to do again. Uh, Pac-Man, or how about Pac-Man Championship Edition Mini? Uh, I can't even spell Pac right, come on. Um, no, no, okay, now it's not going to give it to me. Well, I'm on the videos tab of Google, okay. Blog.playstation.com. 
Pac-Man Championship Edition hits minis tomorrow. Oh, they spell minis with a lowercase m on PlayStation blog. Back in uh, January 31st, 2011, this PlayStation.blog, as they called it, it's actually blog.playstation.com, signed by Nick O'Leary, public relations specialist, Namco Bandai Games. I am happy to announce, says Nick in this article, presumably Nick or his ghostwriter, I am happy to announce that Namco Bandai Games is releasing Pac-Man Championship Edition, Pac-Man all in capital letters, for PSN tomorrow. You will be able to find it in the PlayStation Mini section of the PSP Systems PlayStation Store for $4.99. Mini spelled all lowercase. We are excited to bring this title to the PlayStation family, as it has certainly made an impression on the gaming community over the past few years. Doesn't mention that was on Xbox. Very diplomatic uh, towards these these PlayStation fans reading this, uh, Mr. O'Leary. For everyone who downloaded last year's Pac-Man Champion Edition DX, so that's right, for PS3, and was blown away by the changes made to the fantastic Pac-Man formula, He's really drinking the Kool-Aid. Pac-Man Championship Edition will educate you on where some of these changes sprang from. I don't think that's proper uh, grammar there. Where they sprang from. Uh, Period. Um, Anyway, Garris. Uh, So yeah, so Pac-Man Championship Edition DX came out on PS3 before... Championship Edition came out in minis form. He says last year, so 2010, I guess, for DX. I was very disappointed by Championship Edition DX because it was, you know, the stupid long chains of ghosts and you just have to sit there just with this stupid train of ghosts. It was dumb. That wasn't packed play that wasn't what i wanted to do i wanted it's like you were constrained to follow these stupid paths effectively i wanted just to be rampaging around mazes and going wherever the heck i wanted see i didn't like i didn't like dx at all and you know toru iwatani the pack creator had nothing to do with that version he retired after after uh working as, well, he was like the supervising director or whatever it was called on uh, on Pac-Man Championship Edition. He wasn't the, the like lead designer or anything, but he, he was there, uh, you know, steering stuff, supposedly, but yeah, he didn't, he didn't do anything with DX. He didn't do anything on 2, which looks even worse than DX. I never, I don't think I ever played 2. There is a playable demo of 2 on PS4. I don't want to touch it. That's gross. Pac-Man Champion. This is a Nick O'Leary. Uh, Pac-Man, not PlayStation blog article. He continues, Pac-Man Championship Edition was originally designed for 2007's Pac-Man World Championship in New York as a special commemoration of Pac-Man's 27th anniversary. They made this for a 27th anniversary. I guess that was just the closest handy year to stick it on. The title was also the last game Pac-Man's creator. Oh, maybe I just got that from Nick. No, no, the Wikipedia article did say that too. Uh, The title was also the last game Pac-Man's creator, Toru Iwatani, designed before his retirement from the video game industry. In his final send-off to his original creation, Iwatani-san, oh boy, and uh, it just seems like when when a... Probably, you know, he sounds like a Westerner, his name, when he, they whip out the sign. You know, I don't know. We're not speaking Chip Anyway, uh, Iwatani-san and the Pac-Man Championship Edition development team were able to take everything that made Pac-Man what we know and love for three decades. That's not proper grammar either. Come on. And refine it into a game with enough nostalgia for gamers who have grown up with Pac-Man, along with modern gameplay. I need water. That wasn't Nick saying that's me. Uh, along with modern gameplay enhancements to make it fresh and new for a younger generation. In the end, they succeeded with flying colors, says this Namco spokesman about his own company's product. They succeeded with flying colors. Awards for everybody. Creating the bench he didn't say that. Creating the benchmark of how classic arcade remakes should be done. 
Pac-Man Championship Edition, he still goes on. Plays similar, that's not correct either, to the original Pac-Man arcade game. You'll find pack dots power pellets, and four ghosts spread across a variety of mazes. The major additions to the Pac-Man franchise introduced in Championship Edition are time limits, pack dot multipliers, and dynamically shifting mazes. The timer is easy enough to understand. Get the highest score you can within a certain time limit. Easy. Points are earned by eating ghosts and pack dots. They're called pack dots? The more dots you eat, the more points they are worth. If Pac-Man loses a life, the number of points... I guess that's why you get that little trail of numbers as you eat the dots. That's kind of cool. If Pac-Man loses a life, the number of points per pack dot is reset. So don't die, kids. The real magic is when the maze rearranges itself to repopulate itself with more pack dots. And the D in pack dots is... He's capitalizing that. When Pac-Man, but Pac-Man is all caps, when Pac-Man consumes all the pack dots across one half of a maze, an item appears on the opposite side of the maze. When Pac-Man eats some plosive right into the mic, when Pac-Man eats that item, the side of the maze without pack dots seamlessly reorganizes itself into a new configuration with more pack dots and power pellets to chomp. Did you write that yourself, Nick? That that sounds a little... Anyway, for those who of you whose first experience with Pac-Man Championship Edition series... No, the in there? The Pac-Man Championship Edition series? Uh, no. Just with Pac-Man Championship Edition series was Championship Edition DX. Say goodbye to your ghost trains, bombs, and slowdown. Yeah, all that sucky stuff. Say goodbye to that. Nick didn't say that, but he should have. This is a relatively more traditional... That's incorrect, too. Nicholas, your grammar sucks. This is a relatively more traditional take on Pac-Man, and the only thing that will save you this time around, when you're stuck between a ghost and a hard place, is going to be razor-sharp reflexes. We hope everyone enjoys the game. And uh, that's it. Comments are closed. The first commenter, Doom Kills... On January 31st, 2011, when the article was published, said, Pac-Man on my PSP, FINALLY, in all caps for finally, XM Beaner, two minutes later, 10.08 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, said, this is the second time today I peed myself from, I don't know, from excitement. Thanks, Sony. Why did they let that comment stay there? Um, uh, Sonic Fan 11589, also at 1008 AM PST, typed WOOHOO in all caps. Now, if we could get the DX version as a mini as well, then you'd have a sucky version again. Spookula, he he didn't say I said that. Spookula 209, four minutes after that, at 10.12 a.m., said 4.99 is kind of a lot for this game. What? But it is very addicting. Angry Birds was 3.99, right? GeForce 08 says, well, wait, the, the eventual PlayStation version of whatever Angry Birds came out on PlayStation's that was like, that was like thirty bucks or something, wasn't it? It was ridiculous. Anyway, um, GeForce 08 at also at ten twelve a.m. said, "Well, I already have this on my PS3 parentheses DX, so no need for me to get it again. But it is it's good no apostrophe for people who want it to on the go on the PS3." DX is not the same game. GeForce 08 DX sucks. You're an ignorant, sad person, and you're continuing to miss out on this game, which is far better. Even though it's mini now, it's low res. Relative. Uh, Jimmy Foxhound, two minutes after that at 1014, said, or typed, Yes, in all caps with lots of exclamation points. Count me in. Love this game on the PS3. 
How, how do you know? You just, it just came out. And will it's not even out yet. It's January 31st, and it doesn't come out until the next day. And will Def pick this up for my PSP? Dragon Leader 33 at 10.23. Oh, he's slacking off. That's nine minutes later. Said, so then the DX version isn't going on sale? Bummer. I love it. You know, people like to manufacture disasters out of anything. Well, there's a lot more comments. I'm not going to read them all. But people... Overall, they managed to complain about things, but mostly they seem positive. Ug DX is much better, says overaction at 1.50 p.m. Much later, there were other comments in between. Oh, well, at least there's a PSP version. You, DX is much better? What? How? Because you like just having to eat trains of ghosts and... That's it? Just follow the trains of ghosts? Yeah, that's... that's Anyway. Anyway, I don't have to worry about that. Now we've got this... We've got this minis version, which is delisted, so I guess people who didn't buy it don't have it. There's the Pac-Man Museum, which I think has not been delisted on PS3. I think that's still there. What if I type Pac-Man Museum on delisted games? Um, I mean, I just downloaded the version that I own on my PS3 yesterday, but that doesn't mean anything, obviously. Uh, oops, I need it there, dang it. Pack. And museum. Okay, there's this weird pop-up. PlayStation 3, yes. Oh. Oh, well, it looks like, according to delisted games, Pac-Man Museum for PS3 was delisted uh, in July 2020, also delisted from Steam at that time, or specifically July 9th, 2020, delisted September 2020 to July 2021 on consoles in Australia and Europe the the July 2020 console delisting was Japan, Korea and the US and that means I guess on PS3 and Xbox 360 it was delisted so and then delisted on Xbox One May 2022 that's weird uh And down below it says available on PlayStation 3 Australia EU, but it said it was delisted on specifically on consoles Australia for in Australia and EU September September 2020 to July 2021. Uh, then they have a description. Both Pac-Man Museum and Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures were delisted from Steam on July 9, 2020. Likely delisted around the same time on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in North America and Asian territories. Despite celebrating 2020 as the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man, Namco has unexpectedly decided to remove these titles from sale without warning or explanation. The European and Australian versions were not removed until sometime between September 26, 2020 and July 21, 2021. So those, yeah, I guess those aren't available. Um... It suggests that there was some complication with the way Bandai Namco represented themselves on these releases. For instance, for example, in 2014, the company changed team names from Namco, Namco Bandai Games and Namco Bandai Studios to become Bandai Namco Games and Bandai Namco Studios. They just reversed the Bandai and the Namco and Bandai Namco, Namco Studio. Respectively, then in 2015, the entire company rebranded as Namco as Bandai Namco Entertainment, and increasingly, while they just go on. Um, 
though the Xbox 360 version of Pac-Man Museum was released as a backwards compatible title for Xbox One and was not, not delisted alongside the older titles until it was removed on May in May 2020. It is assumed that these name changes are at least potentially to blame for the delistings requiring each release to be updated or to essentially be republished on each platform. So, that window of time, somewhere in the latter half of 2020, or July 2020, that that was probably when the Mini was delisted as well. So, I, their theory is that it has to, it was because like this says Namco Bandai, 2010 Namco Bandai on the screen here. Namco Bandai Games, what they just said. Um, in 2014, the company changed team names from Namco Bandai Games, blah, 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 to become Bandai Namco Games. Ah, uh, so they, they had to remove the old version because it had their names in the wrong order. And then, of course, they really later rebranded in 2015 to Bandai Namco Entertainment. So they just had to remove all the games. Yeah, that's the right solution. Not replace them, I guess. Jeez. Well, but now we have Pac-Man Museum Plus on PS4, which I guess will be there until they decide to change their name to... Uh, I mean, probably Namco Bandai Entertainment. That's the next permutation that's uh, it's probably up. It's probably due, right? Well, thanks, DelistedGames.com. That was probably pretty useful to know. I feel enlightened anyway. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, wow, you just can't get it on PS3. You can't get CE on PS3 no more. Unless you bought it back in the day or something. Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't think it has anything. I don't think these versions have any advantage over the 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 version that's on current, semi-current gen consoles and Steam. Um, I never played, I guess, the original Steam release. Uh... But, uh, yeah, anyway, so don't, you know, don't, don't go trying to buy it on your, not that you can buy games directly on PS3 anymore anyway, I think, because it, probably because it got hacked or something, but you could still add credit to it, like through, if you have a PS4, you can do that. I can't seem to do that through the website. I can only do that through my PS4 that I've found so far, but, of course, if you have a PS4 to do that with, you could probably just buy it on PS4 and then... Yeah. Anyway, uh, Championship Edition, good game, wherever you find it. Uh, even this, you know, chunky old minis version was actually played, plays real smooth. Amazing. All right, I'm going to stop now. Thank you for watching my, listening to my blathering. And I, I, uh, I, uh, I shouldn't apologize for carrying on. It's not like I'm forcing anyone to listen to this. I, I do this all the time. Uh, I'm going to go, though. Thanks for listening.